Well, losing weight is hard. There is no doubt about it. Dr. Pamela Peake is the chair of Ginny Craig's advisory board. She joins us now to talk more about the struggle that many of us share. Hi, how are you? Hey, how are you doing? Good, good. I got to start out with a hard question. Why is it so hard to lose weight? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the $60,000 million question. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's complicated. Um, the grand majority of people are struggling. I mean, it, you know, seriously, it's almost un-American not to be struggling with weight. Um, and so one of the things we're trying to do is clear through all the junk out there, the fads and, and whatever else, um, so that people can understand what's science-based, what's credible, what's been published, and so we can finally be able to navigate and get to something like our Rapid Results Program, which is completely scientifically based um, and actually is the very first time in history that a major giant like Jenny Craig um, has incorporated a form of intermittent fasting called the circadian based rhythm method and that means for 12 hours you eat healthy food for the other 12 hours you don't eat you simply sleep through it you allow your body to reset and regenerate and then on top of that you know what we try to do is make certain that you're eating healthfully now raise your hand if you know that you've heard somewhere along the line the keto the keto thing, right? Elsa? Yes, yes, I've yeah. heard it. I'm raising my hand. Okay. You can't see me, but I am. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, I can see you somehow. You know, it's, it's there. All right, so the keto thing. Do you know that 62% of people out there actually think that keto is scientifically proven? Well, I'm a physician with an alphabet soup after my name that says no. Um, <laughs> as a scientist, what I'm telling you is that it's only good for one thing based upon science in the 1920s, and that's treating children with intractable seizures. It works fairly well there, but they also have the same side effects that anyone who tries it today does. Really bad constipation, flu-like symptoms, headache. I mean, come on, really yeah. seriously? Sign me up. More importantly, this is all the carbohydrate you get on it. Mmm, looks good to me. Or, most importantly, <laughs> my bouquet. You can have one of these suckers a day. That's it. Oh, come on, man. Really? Hello, fiber. So, and then here's the coup de grace. Nine out of ten people who try it, you know, leave it. So, you know, does that sound successful to you? Nah, not really. So, instead, we have the circadian rhythm-based um, program, and then we add to it the DNA decoder, little cheek swap, and this is brand new science, hot stuff that we're layering onto great science already. And then what you do is you look at the results that come back after that little swab in two weeks. And then what you're able to see are 15 markers that include nutrition, exercise, sleep, um, your eating, nutrition. And then you sit down with a consultant who says, okay, this is you, not the guy next door, you, your unique genes slipping into your genes. And then what we're going to do is simply refine it. Individualize, should be you be high carb, low carb, whatever it is, we now have a really good understanding of what you need. So you've got the DNA decoder, you've got the circadian-based intermittent fasting form, mm -hmm. um, and you don't have a fad. What's not to love? Um, you're speaking my language here because I always talk about the circadian rhythm. I'm intermittent fasting all the time. My coworkers have to hear me talk about it. Um, so I'm glad that you're backing me up and you did it with humor. I love it. Okay, so people want to hear Yay. more about this. <laughs> Where should they go? What's the website so they can check it out? JennyCraig.com. Couldn't get simpler. Just run on over Super to JennyCraig.com and learn all about the DNA decoder, the rapid results for Cadian Base Rhythm, and you keep up your little Thank nutrition you. program. Sounds like you're doing I well. I will, and I'm going to need you to take some improv as well because you got a hidden talent, Dr. Pamela Peake. Appreciate you being here, and we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.